This fight between Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez is a fight between two of the best 155 pounders in the world today. Him and I are two guys that rather get knocked out in the process than, than run for the day. This fight is gonna be a war. Whether he fights at 170 or at 155, Diego Sanchez delivers excitement. He is a tremendous jiu-jitsu practitioner. He's very dangerous on the ground. He has excellent positioning. Sanchez looks tremendous. Diego Sanchez and I have history, you know, good history. When I lived in San Diego, Gil would come down and train with me. No matter what type of training we were doing, something special would happen every round. I think Diego knows he's not gonna have much of a choice but to strike it out with me. I'm gonna hit him right in that kisser, dude, and, and we'll see where it takes it. Bring whatever you got. One two combination by the champion Connex. I'm the number one lightweight in the world, baby. I'm praying, I'm talking to God, I'm thinking about what I need to be thinking about. It's a dog fight right here. It certainly is. What a brawl. That's what Gilbert Melendez is all about. I think Diego knows he's not gonna have much choice but to strike it out with me. He ain't taking me down. Bring whatever you got. This fight is gonna be something special. Diego rises far above his physical abilities just with his mind. I've always loved martial arts. I just thought throwing kicks and punches was cool. A little bit rugged part of Albuquerque right here. South Central. And I was a state champion wrestler, so so I, I was pretty good at getting guys down. And that's when I realized, OK, you know what, maybe I can do this. In the old days when we were from Albuquerque and we would go all over the world to fight, nobody ever expected us to win. No one has heard of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I mean, he really kind of put us on the map. This is my first. Uh, Big magazine cover shot in Hollywood. I was like, I could do it. I could go undefeated. I think the ultimate fighter changed Diego's life because all of a sudden he was just skyrocketed to the highest level of fame that you can get in the MMA. Sanchez looks tremendous. His striking has improved incredibly. This is my opportunity. This is my dream. I mean, it came crashing down, man. the worst outing of my career. If I could tell that young Diego Sanchez anything, anything, it wouldn't matter because he wouldn't listen anyway. Hey everyone, Megan O'Levy here in Houston, Texas. I'm at the House of Blues. Yes, 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 The yes, yes chant returns. You gotta give the people what they want and what they love and, 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 and the yes chant still gets me going. I'm looking into a fighter that I see as the uncrowned champion. I want to take his spot. A big win to put me right up there um, knocking on the door of the cow shop. Knock him out, baby! It's great to be back in Houston, Texas, as we welcome you to the official weigh-ins for UFC 166. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, Houston? Welcome to the weigh-ins! Gilbert El Nino Melendez versus Diego the Dream Sanchez. 56. On 56 for the Dream. 2 the two-time Strikeforce lightweight champion, returns to battle Diego Sanchez, the ultra-vicious original Ultimate Fighter winner. The UFC lightweight champion of the world, Anthony Showtime Pettis. In a division full of great matchups, fight fans will get their wish once again tonight with what promises to be a fast-paced, lightweight battle. The Ultimate Fighter Season 1 winner, Sanchez, is still going strong more than eight years later. As he will always be the Huntington Beach bad boy, this man will always be the nightmare. When Diego was training in San Diego, you 
Gilbert would come down and stay with him, train with him. They would hang together. And those two high-intensity guys always brought out the best in each other. Born in Santa Ana, California. Fighting out of the Bay Area. He may have a slight advantage in wrestling, but I believe he has an advantage in his boxing. Diego has an advantage in crazy. Both men are 31 years old. Melendez 5'9", Sanchez 5'10". Gilbert will have a slight reach advantage. The Ultimate Fighter Season 1 winner, Diego! The Dream! by Gilbert, taken down by Diego. Diego on top. Diego's got his back. Well, he's gonna try to get Diego's hook off of him. Trying to lock it and in. And he got it. Yep. Nicely done by Gilbert. Gilbert he some good punches to the body. Whip that punch to the body. Good right hand to the body again by Gilbert. And a good right hand over the glove. Good leg kick by Diego. Melendez has more fluidity to his punches, Mike. Diego moves in for the clinch. Nice. Oh, and on the knee break too. Big right hand by Gilbert. See if Gilbert continues to change levels here. Diego looked for a spinning back kick there, but missed. Trying to take Gilbert down, but missed that as well. Nice one, one two. two. Oh, good kick to the body by Diego. That was a hard kick to the body. Yep. That may have hurt Gilbert. Both guys have worked the body. Oh, they swing and reckless oh. abandon. And the round's gonna conclude with a flurry. Wow! Wow! What an end of the round. And here we see it. Wild exchange. And one lands right on the jaw. Diego goes down but gets right back up. Oh, I need fakes and feints. Okay. When you shoot in for the takedown, he's stuffing it. I want you to be the first in the clinch to light him up. And here's where he got cut. There's the elbow. But if I was in his corner, I would definitely be saying target that area. And he was about to do it right there. Gilbert's really keeping that arm low, that right arm to protect oh, yeah. those ribs. Oh, he got, I mean, Gilbert just nailed him with a nice right hand. Really good exchanges. Especially at the end of the round. There they go again. Wow. There's a right hand by Diego that got through. And a nice right hand by Gilbert. Right, right. Five. We're going to right. check a cut. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm good now. Right. Good. All right, here we go, bud. Gilbert really targeting the body tonight. Caught him with that right hand as he leaped in. Caught him. Oh, wow. my. Body and head. Diego and himself are very similar in that face to nose situations, they bite down their mouthpiece and start swinging. And that is what we are seeing tonight. Look at this. Yeah. Similar backgrounds, similar success as mixed martial artists. Good timing there with that right hand by Gilbert. And again, wow, beautiful combination by Gilbert. Two, three, two. Diego two shoots shot. and he gets it. Nicely done. Beautiful right escape. Oh, and he comes out firing. Sanchez connects. Sanchez is eating punches to land his own. There's a shot again. Good Deep sprawl. on a single, good sprawl. Nice knee, beautiful. You got this, Gil. Five more minutes. And again, Melendez with a nice combination. But this is what Diego wants. Yep. What Diego wants is just a wild exchange. And he looks very fresh. Yes. There's it. There it is again. Diego moves forward and he just slides just out of range. Oh, oh man. Man, they're firing away. <laughs> this is amazing. Diego Sanchez is a savage. Busted up, but far from beaten. They're going to check the cut. Let him go. Oh, nice kick to the body. The, yeah, climb in the ribs again. Caught that right hand flush. Oh, oh, man. This is madness. 
This is madness. Oh, Diego caught him with the right hand there. No disrespect, champ, in the Swede. Oh! He snaps as Roxon! Takes it back! Diego's looking for the guillotine! Can he get it? He lost it! The knee! The elbow! Big elbow! Big right hand! They're gonna swing to the finish! Wow. Oh, my God. This is the end of round one. And this is where they're swinging wild. Gilbert caught him with that right hand on the jaw. And there's a beautiful right hand by Gilbert. There's a nice uppercut by Diego that hurt him bad and dropped him. Look at this uppercut. I mean, this might not have been the most technical fight. But that's, without a doubt, the most entertaining and the wildest fight I've ever seen. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Gilbert El Nino Melendez. I love you, baby. Later, okay? I love you. That's what Mexicans do. We hold our ground and we fight. I'd rather go down on my shield than run in circles. Diego's a warrior. I respect him so much. I slept on his couch before and trained with him. Thank you very much for an absolutely amazing, entertaining fight. You're one of the most entertaining fighters I have ever seen in all my years of calling fights, and tonight was probably you at your best. Uh, I was, I was, I, I don't know. I really wasn't that much was going through my mind. I, we were just so dang slippery. What was going through your mind when the, the last buzzer rang? Did you think you had done enough? You know, I was, I, was, I was just going for it. That's all I can say is I was just going for it. We love you, Diego. Thank you for an unbelievably entertaining fight. You're a savage. Thank you, sir. Fight of the night, <laughs> if I need to say it. Melendez versus Sanchez might be the fight of the friggin... The fight of the I don't know what. Can you tell us kind of what was going through your mind as the fight was going on? Did you have the feeling that you were involved in something special? And, you know, how did you, you know, stay out of the brawls? So obviously, he wants to brawl with you, and you were trying to keep it a little more technical. You know, that was a, it was a great fight. I knew I was ahead on the scorecards. Uh, Diego's a good fighter, you know, but I was happy with everything. Diego's been out for a while with injuries, you know, and everybody's questioning where Diego, Diego belongs in, in, in the division, and, and is he still here? He comes right in and fights the number two guy in the world and, uh, and prove tonight, Diego Sanchez is never out of any fight. You, when, you, when you're an old man, you're going to look back and you're like, yeah, that was, a, that, was, that, was, that was fun. Rocky didn't get the decision in the first fight, but hey, you know what? He dropped him and I dropped him and I felt it was close to being a draw. And that's about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> First of all, I just... He hasn't been to one of these in a while. He wants to um, talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, I rambled a little bit. I'm sorry. 